That was a perfect professional performance. That's everything that I wanted to see from this game. All right, welcome back to American Blues Podcast. Let's talk about Chelsea Barrow 5 0. You know, say what you will about Barrow. I think Enzo Maresca was correct in saying that this was a difficult game just because if we win, everybody's going to say, you know, we're like 60 teams ahead of Barrow in the English pyramid standing. So we were supposed to win. But then if we lose or if we don't play well, then everyone's going to crap on the B team. We lose a lot of confidence in players that need a lot of confidence. So this was the absolute perfect performance from minute zero till 91. Yeah, I don't. I honestly don't have any complaints. I thought the starting lineup was exactly what it was going to be. You know, it was basically every player that needed game time that needed to gain some confidence. And especially for players like Badia Shil, who just needed to be solid in defense. And then Jao Felix and Cuckoo Neto. I feel like those three really needed to show their class and quality. They just had to absolutely dominate. And then Mudrick just had to be alive on the pitch. <laughs> you know, he had to just be in the right position, make the right runs, make the right passes or shots. It didn't matter. He just needed to act like an actual professional football player. And you know what? I think everybody did their jobs perfectly today. You know, if we go through the goals real quick, first one, perfect little dink pass by Jao Felix and then Cuckoo, clinical finish. Wasn't the best shot, but honestly, like it didn't matter. He was he stayed on side, hit a really good shot, goal. Second goal, I absolutely love Pedro Neto and Malagusto combining on the right side, hitting a good cross in, and then Cuckoo with a perfect little back heel flick into the corner. Nothing the keeper could have done. That is a clean, clinical finish. And then and Cuckoo's third goal was just it was just bad goalkeeping by the bear goalie. I, I don't know what he was doing trying to play out from the back and Cuckoo was there on the spot, stole the ball from him, finished. Made it look easy when sometimes that's not that easy once you beat the goalie because you still have to be composed and hit it into the goal. And then Jao Felix, you know what? Even though they gave it as an own goal, I'm going to say he scored. That was a great free kick. Hit the post, hit the goalie in the back, bounced in. Absolutely love to see that. And even Pedro Neto got his goal on the fifth one. It was a really good run by Mudrick and a very good pass. He didn't try to overdo it. He didn't try to take it on himself and miss. He just hit the square pass when it needed to be. Pedro Neto, easy finish, essentially open goal. Yeah, and that's it, 5-0. And then what I love about this is absolute perfect game management. What I wanted from this game was a very comfortable win, so comfortable that we would see Tariq George and Achim Pong come on because I've heard so much about them. Tariq George looked great in preseason. And you could tell I was happy. Like, I think it was like around 60 minutes that they came on. And I'm glad both of those got game time. Neither of them did anything too spectacular, but they didn't need to. They just needed game time to be on the pitch, to do their thing, get a taste for first team games. And then that'll help tremendously in building their confidence and helping them stay motivated to keep training hard week in week out so they keep taking advantages of chances like this now i will say the only thing second half that i wanted to see was i wanted to see a goal from either mark Gu, tyreek george or carney chukameka i feel like those three just desperately well not really george but especially mark Gu and Carney, they just need to be on the field and contribute and get their confidence up. And unfortunately, they didn't. I think George had the best chance. Uh, ball came on the right side. It was just basically him and the goalie, and he very weakly hit it with his right foot into like the bottom left and completely missed. But that's okay. You know, He was in the right position. He took the shot. That's what I want to see from a young player is being in the right position, taking the shots, and it doesn't really matter if you miss or not. And Achia Palm, I think he gave away one foul because he was caught out of position. But the rest of the time, I didn't think he did anything wrong. And who I love seeing back on the pitch again is Ben Chilwell. I honestly, I personally love Ben Chilwell. I think he's fantastic. I think he, on his day, he's one of the best left backs in the league, 
if he can stay healthy. But, you know, he has to play in kind of like a more wingback system where he can be the overlapping runner. He's not really an inverting left back. So I understand why Maresca kind of iced him from the team, even though it's harsh. But, you know, sometimes those decisions are necessary. Like, we just have too many players. Um, and if there's not a good position for Chilwell, he's too good to just be sitting and not playing, right? Like, I do hope that he... If he can't get on this team, he should go somewhere else. He needs to be playing for his team football. Like, he's too good to be sitting on the bench. And he's too, too good to be just permanently injured. So hopefully, finally, he can put the injuries behind him. But, you know, time will tell. Because he's kind of like Reese James, where every good game is followed by, like, two months on the sidelines because of an injury. But it was good to see him back on the pitch. You know, I feel like every time he plays, he gives 100% even if sometimes he has bad games or good games. But, you know, today I don't think he really put a foot wrong. It was, yeah, it was exactly what he needed was to come back into the team, get some game time. And then finally, what I really want to focus on is that I think Maresca is our best signing in the past three years. Like, like he is doing everything that I wanted from a manager this early on the season. Again, last game I said it, we have a style of play. Even the B team has a style of play. When, you know, when in the conference league, our B team looked horrendous. This was not that case. We knew what we were doing, again, from defense to build up to offense to defending to everything. Everybody looked confident. Everybody knew their job. Even Mudrick, my goodness. And, you know, and Mudrick just had to do the bare minimum. Bare minimum, which is act like a professional player against the league two side. And show your talent use your pace, put in good crosses when they're necessary. And he honestly did all of that. I have no complaints, no complaints about that. The same. I just want to praise the manager, perfect game management, um, very professional performance. It kept all the players who are not getting enough game time, kept them hungry, kept them focused and gave them confidence. And someone like in Cuckoo, I think what I got out of this game is he's just, he's too good to be playing against the league two side. He's too good to be used mainly on the B team. And you know what? That is a good problem to have. That's finally, we have competition at almost every position, especially in attack where, you know, if someone is having an off game, there's someone right behind them who's ready to step up and make a difference. And we need that. We need that for Jackson. We need that for Madueke. We need that for Palmer. Even we need that for Sancho, like everybody up front needs to be at their peak, 100% being pushed in training, in games, and that's how this team built success. And another, I think, big positive is a huge win at home when the crowd atmosphere has just not been good for many years now. And I can't even blame them. Like, we just haven't been very good to watch, especially at home. You know, we've been nervous. We've lost games. It's just... It just hasn't been very exciting for the crowd. But today, you can start to see like the crowd and the team getting some kind of connection. Even the B team is exciting the crowd. They did what they had to. So this was an absolute perfect game, in my opinion. It's exactly what we needed. And yeah, let's just continue this run forward. I can't wait till the next game. I'm super confident against Brighton now, whereas last year and the year before, I would have been scared to play Brighton for sure. And it was always... You know, there was so much media backlash against us playing Brighton, saying, oh, we paid them, we stole all their players, they're still looking better. I don't really believe that anymore. I think we're genuinely better than Brighton. We have better players, we have a better system, we have a better manager, so can't wait. No complaints. Let's keep this run going, especially with the run of home games we have coming up. All we have to do is just keep building on this confidence, get the crowd going. I want Stanford Bridge to become a fortress again. So, yeah, see you guys after the next game. Peace.